So how important do you think effective planning is on the development of a young sports person? Uh, planning is crucial because uh, when you talk about the development of a young uh, player then you talk about a long-term uh, uh, process. Uh, so planning is crucial. Uh, it's a long-term process and, um, and in particular what is important is that uh, you avoid uh, accumulation of fatigue during that process. Especially in football uh, because if you analyze football uh, the most important thing uh, for a player is to deal with less space and less time eh, because that's the characteristic of a higher level uh, that the speed of your actions has to be higher which means that football is an intensity sport uh, and not so much an endurance sport so um, to improve your speed of actions uh, fatigue is your worst enemy uh, so the crucial thing in terms of planning for young players is uh, that although they develop fatigue within a session that you get rid of fatigue in between sessions uh, so that you start every training session with 100% freshness in other words with 100% uh, speed of action which is crucial if you want to stretch those boundaries okay and what advice would you give to an amateur coach who has limited time with his or her athletes if you have limited time so maybe only two or, or three sessions a week then what is crucial is that uh, you play your sport and that you don't isolate things, that you don't train things in isolation, but that you uh, use the holistic approach. So for example, in football, uh, if you only have two or three sessions uh, a week, then the most important thing is that you use every single minute of that week by playing football, um, because then you have the biggest chance uh, to develop your player as a whole rather than uh, developing just elements within that player because two or three sessions a week is not enough to uh, train all the elements in isolation so then you will ultimately miss out on things. Okay and in your opinion Raymond who has a better chance of making it? A good athlete with average skills or a skillful player with average fitness? They will both not reach it, they will both not make it uh, because both components are crucial uh, to make it, um, so both players will fail. Uh, on the other hand, there is a clear hierarchy between those two components, so both are crucial, but skill and uh, individual skill, uh, but also your ability to communicate with your teammates is of a higher order than fitness. So yes, they are both crucial, but within a clear hierarchy. Okay, and what is your opinion on fast players and recovery? Should they be treated differently? Yeah, the fast players, so in other words, players with fast muscle fibers, uh, they need longer recovery time. And that has to do with the characteristics of fast muscle fibers. Fast muscle fibers are wide muscle fibers, in a, and that's because there's not a lot of blood running through those fibers. And if there's not a lot of blood, there's also not a lot of oxygen. And oxygen is crucial to recover. So if there's not a lot of blood and not a lot of uh, oxygen, recovery will be slower. So if you treat those explosive players in the same way as all the other players, you give them too little recovery time. In other words, they start the next game or the next training session still tired from the previous activity. So over days, over weeks and over months, they will accumulate fatigue because they have unfinished business in terms of recovery. And if they accumulate fatigue, uh, your nervous system will become slower. So in other words, the signal from your brain to your muscles travels slower, which means that you have less control over your body, less coordination during maximum explosive actions, and therefore your injury risk will uh, increase dramatically. So uh, yeah, I mean, the advice to coaches is to uh, definitely treat those players differently. Okay, and how important do you feel is having the right mindset within sport? Well, thinking is crucial um, because if you want to develop uh, as, a, as a youth player or if you want to perform uh, when you are an adult and when it's about winning, 
um, the, the problem is that your thinking is distracted by external factors. And once your thinking is distracted by external factors, the quality of your actions will be lower and ultimately your performance or your development will be lower. So in terms of training your brain, it is about training the ability to keep thinking about your task and not being distracted by external factors.